So when we first got here, this really friendly woman started talking to us and her name is Lori and she is the person that works here and, and cleans all the rooms and she told us that she actually lives here. She lives at this place. Lives. They took the trip to Tonopah, Nevada and they found out it's not just clowns that frighten the motel. All right guys, there. so today we're about three hours outside of Las Vegas and tonight I'm gonna be sleeping at probably the most disturbing looking hotel and motel in all of the land. This is the Clown Motel. Now, did you pay for it online? Yeah. Okay, so you're pretty much set up anyway. This one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm happy to not see a carpet. I don't know why. That always makes me happy. So about a year ago, I was making my way from Vegas to Reno, and about halfway through, I stopped to get some gas and stretch my legs. And out of the corner of my eye, I noticed this place. I was like, what on God's green earth is the Clown Motel? What the heck? It's funny that I stumbled upon this place randomly because if you go on the internet and search this place up, you'll see thousands of reviews, tons of videos. It's been featured in television series like paranormal type shows. Movies have been filmed here. <laughs> It has quite a bit of history. I do not believe in paranormal stuff or haunted stuff. I am not scared of clowns, but I'm gonna give you an honest look into what this place is like, what it's like to stay here. So let's start the video off with a room tour. I paid $100 for this room for the night. Yeah. Greta, why is this opening by itself? <laughs> it's just a drawer. It's fine. It's the clown. Look, look. All right, just got back from lunch. We actually went down to Main Street and got lunch and explored the town a little bit. There's actually two hotels on Main Street that have casinos here, and we got to check those out as well. Pretty adorable little casinos. Nothing like Vegas, but it's something. They're doing some uh, renovating outside the office here. We're actually gonna head inside the office now. They have a ton of interesting items in here. This one's kind of cool. Kicking up the clowns. <laughs> that is cool. Alright guys, it's 9.01. We just got back from dinner. And uh, we're gonna go explore outside a little bit. Believe it or not, there are a handful of people staying the night, not just me and Greta. Five other people. Oh. At least the lights are on. So yeah. Unless it's the ghosts. The second floor is nicer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, no one's in this one. <laughs> this is kind of like ours, pretty much. There's a bunch of different rooms you could rent here, but they all looked pretty similar to me, so I just picked one with a king bed, and that's the one we got. First floor, right next to the office. So when we first got here, this really friendly woman started talking to us, and her name is Lori, and she is the person that works here and, and cleans all the rooms, and I guess she's the only housekeeper here, and she told us that she actually lives here. She lives at this place. 
lives. <laughs> she lives here. Her whole life is here. Her room is, uh, I think, on the second floor. Yeah. And she lives here. <laughs> I did notice that none of the rooms are labeled except for this one. It says this one's the clown suite. It's at the very corner on the second floor. It's kind of a cool view, I think, for this place. This is the clown suite. Also, a perk of the first level, you get some beautiful patio <laughs> seating right here. There's a couch over here. Another patio. It's kind of like a outdoor patio kind of thing, right? Yeah. All right, so one last thing before we head in for the night. We are gonna check out the cemetery here, the Tonopah Cemetery. It's actually right next to the motel. First Tonopah Cemetery, 1901 to 1911. Buried here are many of Tonopah's pioneer residents, including 14 victims of the Tonopah Belmont Mine Fire of February 23rd, 1911, as well as the victims of the 1902 Tonopah Plague. Are you creeped out at all? To be completely honest, maybe because you're here with me, <laughs> but not really. Hmm. It, it kind of feels peaceful for now. <laughs> this one has a hole in it? Oh, that's creepy. That's really creepy. Why is that open like that? Oh my god. That is... That is... That, that, that creeps me out. Oh. oh, it says Hazel Fine. We miss you. R.I.P. Aww. Born in England. <laughs> I definitely don't feel creeped out here. I feel pretty good vibes. So that's good. I think I'll sleep decently good. <laughs> Alright, time to check the bed. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's check. Check everywhere we go. Yeah, the mattress does look pretty new. Yeah. <laughs> it's so silly. Ghosts go through walls. So I think I'm literally going to sleep like this. <laughs> the amount of mold in the air conditioner and heater is upsetting. But one night, I think we'll be okay, right? Yeah. Uh, honestly, yeah. Honestly, though, like, all things considered, this has been less sketchy than I thought it would be. Definitely kind of a dirty room and and weird and stuff like that, but I'm not creeped out, no bad vibes. Honestly, the vibes have been great. The people we've met have been really, really friendly, and you know, the people that have been staying have been, you know, generally pretty happy. There's been people coming, taking pictures and stuff like that, and I don't know, it's been kind of adorable, honestly, so. All right, we're gonna go to sleep, though. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good night. Well, we survived. That's a plus. <laughs> All things considered, we slept okay. It was warm at least. No clowns or spirits or ghosts. So that's good. Good morning. I need to give this back to you. All right, all right. How Pretty good. Yeah. No complaints. All right, cool. Well, have a good one. Thanks for having me. That man is the owner of this place, and he's he's a pretty sweet guy, honestly. You can tell he cares about this place a lot.